We're also going to be doing some uh, kind of neat things here too. Depending on how I get the site, take care of. Go ahead, bite down for me. Just relax for a second. That okay. Uh, we're going to be pumping the buccal tissue a little bit also uh, between the implant and the the graft. So I'm going to show how we do this all from a minimally invasive approach. And I don't know if we can see the serial view of the scan, which is over at the area. But uh, we've got about eight and a half minutes to work with prior to uplifting. So to gain a millimeter or so should be no problems whatsoever. It should be nice and, and, and very predictable for us to do. So after we anesthetize uh, a couple minutes, we'll get started. And um, once again, like I'm saying, we're going to do a couple different approaches. I'll show you the site, review kind of some of the challenges with the site, and then kind of outline how we're going we're to deal with it. Great. Thanks, Ina. Perfect. And uh, also, when you get a chance, let's uh, we can turn here. If you get cold or anything, let me know. We have a blanket. We're turning air conditioning a little bit. Okay. Yeah. How's everything look good? Yes, sir. All right, perfect. This is our fourth, fifth procedure? I think our fifth. Fifth, yes. So we're happy to have everybody back and all the new new people that are signed in to watch. We're, we're glad you're all here. Okay, man. A couple little pinches, okay? And we'll turn this way, man, all the way. Thank you, perfect. A couple little pinches, okay? Then we'll just do some infiltration in the buckle vestibule. Once again, with septicane. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. and, uh, what I'm going to do too, like I'm going to get a mirror, like an occlusal mirror. Uh, that we could put in from a vision standpoint. A little pinch mat. There we go. I'm sorry? Yep. Cool. I'll be a little pinch on the inside, okay? Apologize about this here. Doing okay? Still feel? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me when it's gone. Mm -hmm. right. How about now? Mm -hmm. Likewise, tell me when it's gone. You suction in a little bit. Mm -hmm. right. Feel that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me when it's gone. Same thing. A little pressure? Uh -huh. Okay. You're doing great. Uh -huh. All right. How about now? Nothing? Uh -huh. Good. All right. Let me give you a little rinse. Close down like a straw. And we'll get over. And if you don't mind, then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get the mirror with the hot water, okay? I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Vaseline yeah, sure. on your lips, okay? Yeah, good. So it'd be really interesting because we have a, um, I didn't do the graft, but it was done several months ago. And we've lost of tissue and a little bit of the height of the ridge. So what I'm going to be doing through the I'm going to start it off at a minimally, of course. And then what I'm going to be doing is using okay. the internal aspect of the create to plump the buccal tissue on the facial of the implant. So it's kind of like what I would do in an immediate extraction socket, 
although I'm going to do it internally and decide with the width of the implant whether I'm going to add the graft or not. I don't know at this particular point. So, Doug, you're, you're taking the acetone We're going to do acetone. Mm -hmm. and, and there's all different types of systems. So you're looking at um, millimeters? So what yeah. You talking about? I, you know, I think that you, you know, there's all types of little machinery right now and different types of techniques to do this. Um, you, you know, for the better part of 25 years, like the best. Um, one of the things is we're going to have to be a little forceful with pressure with the acetone, possibly even use the mal a little bit just to do the little green stick fracture. But to gain two millimeters should be no problem with what we're doing. Uh, and it, it's uh, uh, going to be very nice and easy and predictable. We're going to be placing a plan is for a diameter by 10 millimeters. Z Systems two piece implant. Uh, we'll be placing a healing cap for healing and we'll be doing internal, as I said, socket lift, so some graft membrane first prior to implant being seated. No, no, we've got we've got eight millimeters of bone, so this is very, 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 very straightforward and easy. There's, there's no reason to make a lateral. Exactly there. There we go. All right, so let's look at this for a second here. Hello from Perio EAU team. How's everybody doing? Nice to see everybody. Suction tip, please. Right. So let's take a look here in the mirror if we can see it closely. So you can see the little concavity. Is that that good, guys? Yes, sir. You can see the concavity in the facial plate, easy to take care of. But as I start to rotate a little bit more with the mirror, you see some of the height that we've lost at the buckle crest. You know, if you would hold this for me. Yep, thank you. And what I'm talking about, if you take the retractor, I'll hold the mirror. There we go, perfect. What I'm talking about is this area right here, I'm going to bring this buckle by what I'm doing with my osteotomy right here in the middle. So if I go back to this view here and understand what I'm doing here, is, and I'm going to move that buckle flap just with pressure, with pushing after I create, you can take out it. The, the osteotomy, all right? So I think it'll be something cool. If you don't do this stuff like this, it might be something that you want to adopt and take over. I'm a we have that big number. Big. How you doing? You're good? There's that bigger one, remember? The long one. Remember that longer big one must be in another one of the kids. But the longer one. There's a there's a big one. Like like this. The big round one. Longer shank. Yep. All right. So we're going to start really quick once we get moving. Um, just let Matt get a good level of anesthesia. And that really, really cool procedure is going gonna, gonna to be really cool. Perfect. Very good. You know. So the hardest thing about today is I'm going to be bringing it as much as I can towards me. Right. Okay. So, so if your neck gets tight, just let me know. No, it's okay. So, like this one. Yeah. Yeah. And then how about my chin up because I'm, I'm chin on up. Top, right? Yeah. And I've got a mirror that I could put in so they could okay. see the angle. Right. But it's just if I move you one way or the yeah, other, yeah, I'll just, tell you. Just go for it. Yeah. Okay. Let's give a little more. Just to make sure, just to make sure that we're in good shape. Okay, we'll turn towards me, Matt. There we go, perfect. You feel that at all? Uh -uh. Feel that? Uh -uh. Feel that? Uh -uh. Perfect. One little rinse. 
get the you know don't taste too good. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do now, and we'll turn a little towards in a minute. Standing that obviously we have a uh, in from a guide standpoint. I'm gonna do this. Just I'm gonna create the natural emergence profile, what he should have at this site. So the best guide I'm gonna have is gonna be creating a contour that he should have, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna be in the center. Obviously, you could do this guided. You do this with the, the scent that I've used over and over. There's different options as that's concerned. Okay, so we're going to turn a little more mat this way. There we go, perfect. So. so what I'm doing first is just notching the site. Now, one of the things to remember from all of this when we start talking about implants is, is the head of the implant and the type of implant system chosen and the ability to have some of the superior aspect of the implant either be prepared or be altered. And you can't do this, obviously it's, it's you could do it to a titanium implant but you start creating all kinds of issues at the bone level. It's one of the reasons that I pick Z systems is I like to have flexibility with their implant that I could prep it if I have to. I can make adjustments if I have to. Matter of fact, I have that mirror again, you know. We had a patient come in today for your post op that we did a sinus graft on. And uh, the margins, were, it was 11, 12, 4, 13, 15. And 11 and 12, the lab had the margins a little short, so we prepped back on the abutment, did some flowable composite. We took the pictures. Your post op is beautiful. And you, know, you just can't do that with every system. So, if you see what I'm doing is I'm creating now in the crest of the ridge the ideal site of where this implant should be. And I'm creating that emergence profile in the tissues. And you can see already where we have the graft at, which is right under the level of the tissue. So, what I'm going to do from this standpoint is a little bit more towards me, Matt. Thank you. Emergence profile. Enough, you, know, you can grab that mirror again. And what we're going to do now is what I was talking about from the internal site that I just created. I'm going to plump out this tissue. So I've created this little, like, almost pouch. Okay? So in here, which you can see, I mean, the implant most likely will hold that tissue out. If not, I'll put some graft in. It's no problem. But now I've got my emergence site for my implant where I'm ready to go. Okay? And that little pouch of tissue for me, go ahead, man, bite down, relax for a second. Okay. Is ideal to manage either with the width of the collar of the implant or I can look at what's going to put graft. Remember from the literature that as long as we have 1.8 millimeters of bone on the facial of an implant, that's what's adequate to develop a, a, the adequate periosteum and have good blood supply to your, your buccal plate. With zirconia implants, we have a lot of flexibility back and forth with that. And, and, um, but I like to stick to that and adhere, adhere to that uh, measurement as close as possible. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch out our burrs. And I'm going to start this internal procedure. You know, that measurement again that I have is how much? So we've got eight and a half millimeters till the septa floor to septum of the sinus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to a smaller round diamond. Okay, that open. Towards me, smaller round diamond. Starting my osteotomy site. Starting with the academy site, just so I'm going to control my drill now when I go to my car. So you could see, thank you, Matt. Oh, yep, good, right there. You could see that the site has started right where we're going to be with our, with our implant, okay? So, go back to this. 
All right, so let's go to our kit. And I'm going to go to the drill extension for this. Because I'm all the way back and I want to make sure we're getting the angle that we have. And I'm going to go, first of all, with my pilot drill. So if we look here, we've got our 8, 10, and 12. So we measure out at about 8 millimeters of bone, which is this first line. So I'm going to be stopping short of it. I'm going to probably go to about right here here as far as depth is concerned probably about seven so i'm gonna stop it right about there okay so we're gonna go into the site okay matt we'll open there we go thank you and this might be too much height wise so i'm at seven and i'm at a definitive stop i'm putting pressure so we're gonna back that out and if we could put that back in the please and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring my C-Systems drill kit here a little closer. And I'm going to widen this up to a 2.3 twist. Okay, so right there at 7 millimeters. And I'm going to widen up to the 2.8 right If you could see, I'm stopping at that hard stop still right at the 7 millimeter standpoint. Okay, now I'm going to put this in so I remember upside down. Okay. If we could get here one more time, please. Sorry for the stop and starting. I just want to show you each step of the way with the mirror and kind of where we're at, okay? All right. Okay, Matt, let's open it again. And if you can't eat a suction right now. Sorry about that. Let's go to... Thank you. Okay. Great. All right. So go ahead and suction. So if you're looking, you can still see the floor of the sinus in the mirror. Okay? So right now we're at 7 millimeters and we're stopping short. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here. This is my 2.6 millimeter acetone. First level down, second level is 10 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go in, suctioning towards me a little bit, Matt. There we go. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to feel around the bone a little bit, widen this right. And I'm right at that floor of the sinus at Let me push on it. Pressure on that. We're not, we're not at that point yet where I want to go into, so right now I'm at the floor of the, sin, floor of the sinus, but right above, right where I'm at is a septum that I'm going to have to kind of increase through. So what we're going to do is we're going to widen the osteoidium up a little more. We're going to do that right at the very end. So I'm going in with my now 325 drill. Remember, this is the 5 0 implant we're going to go in with. Okay? Come in again. Now I'm going right to 8. And I still got resistance. Sorry about the salt one. The same thing. And we got resistance still, okay? So I'm going to turn this upside down so I remember again that we use that one. We're going to go back in with the mirror now. Okay. Okay, so that was the, just so I remember in my mind, 325, I like to talk to myself. That's what happens when you get over 55. You talk to yourself. Because no one else listens. All right, need free construction for me. I'm just going to go right in the site. Perfect. Like one more time, you know. Perfect. So you still see the floor of the sinus right there? Perfect. So still there. So we're good, all right? Everything is intact. Three acetone. Right down. Okay. I set off. 
this. I like to make sure I'm not cutting anything. And also this concavity, it's good to hold the graft, to condense the graft. And I like the freedom of having that, that I'm controlling this cut instead of the point of the osteotome controlling the cutting. Okay. Okay. A lot of pressure now. Okay. Well, I'm not there yet. And I'm testifying. Now, there's all different birds. There's the versatile birds, the classification, other options on how to manage sites like this. I prefer, look at there, you see the Florida sinus? Beautiful. Okay. We're still only at 8 millimeters. That's what we're going to do now. Me. Into the site. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Back into the site with this. Everyone, no. This was at 3 8. Yep. So we're going to go back into our site. We have to go a little bit more. You can relax your lip just a little bit, Matt. Just relax. There we go. All right, so now you're going to hear a little tapping, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to give a couple little, we're going to do a little green strip fracture. You okay? You okay? Mm -hmm. One more time. So we're going to step the again. We're going to go to the mirror for a second. And you can see the Florida sign is still intact, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back. Hold that And I'm going to go back to the smaller diameter, okay? Yep. Back a little bit to the 2.8. I'm going to use this to go a little bit higher up. But a little bit higher up. On so here's 8. Now, did you see that? That just took it a little bit more. So we went through the septum with the smaller drill. In the suction in the site. Perfect. Okay, one more time. In. All right, the site is there. Perfect. Now we're going to go back to the 3.8 osteotome. Pressure again. Now we're at 8. Sorry. I'm making it a little wider. You got to go a little bit of time. You see the Florida sign is still there? Perfect. Okay. Back to this again. I'm going to go all nine. You hit this? Another little tap, okay? And we're going to go one more little tap. Sorry about this. Great. The septum are, are a little bit more challenging. We're going to go back with our 2.8 drill again. And I'm just a little pressure, a little bit at a time. And you can see we're pretty much right at the 10 spot. Now the other beautiful thing about this too, one more time, Ian, a suction. Give me a break in a second, man. It's done, okay? So the floor of the sinus is right there. One more time, Ina. Perfect. And the 10 millimeters now, go back. A second, you know, suction for me. Okay, now, we're right there at the 10 millimeters, okay? And we'll go back and look one more. Now it's pretty straightforward. So let's get that back in the water. 
You just go ahead and look at your jaw. You're doing wonderful, okay? All right. Yep, Ina. Perfect. Thanks for turning the air conditioning up. All right. Ina's doing all the work. So, the 375 drill now. I'm going to go kind of quick on these next two. There's eight. There's 10. And look at definitive stop. The drill's right at 10. All right. We're going to go to a 425. Before I do that, I'm going to go back one more time. I want to just look in my mirror quick. Yeah. Suction, please. Great. Four still there. There we go. Perfect. You're right at the 10 line. See that, everybody? There's 10. Perfect. Now, the other beautiful thing about this, we're going to go to the... So now this one is the 425. We're right at 8 against, definitive stop right at 10. And if you look at here, you know, if I could have that. Okay. And while you're doing that, go ahead. I'm going to switch this over to here. And I'm going to put this on. So what I'm doing is I'm going to the tap because Matt's bone is, is pretty, pretty uh, sturdy here. With the she says, I twist it and I ruin the drills. Uh, right now, go ahead, one more time, Ina. So we don't need to do any graft at all, okay? We've, we've condensed the graft to 10 millimeters. If you look one more time, if you didn't. Like, one more time, Ina, suction. So you can see me condensing the graft. And you got a good chamber, so we don't need a, we don't need a graft. I've pushed the bone up to two millimeters in the septum, but we are going to tap. So we're going to come in here with our 5.0 self tap. Ceramic drills are phenomenal. I mean, they just they stay case after case after case. So beautiful, so sharp, such a good cutting surface. And we're just going down to the 10 millimeter line. Right there, perfect. Now, what's the reason for threading this? His, because Matt's is very, very, very dense. You know, this is I'm off this poster. You know, if you could give me this. Down for me, thanks. And I just, you know what, Blake? I don't want to bind. I don't want the implant to bind when I'm seeding it. And if I do, I take it out and I'll put it in again. But I might have to widen the sight. But this is so dense, it's almost like mandibular arch, to be honest with you. And I've got my drill set at, I think uh, recommendations are 40 newton centimeters. I set my drill at 45 newton centimeters. You know, you know Paul, not really the, always follows the rules. Yeah. All right, let's open that for me. Perfect. And in the sight. So you can see the threads on the side of the osteotomy. Suction in, Nina. You can still see the floor, the, the roof of the sinus is right there. Perfect. Let me hit this for a second. Okay, take that from me. Okay, Matt, we're going to go ahead and bite down again. And then, you know, we can take this away for a second. Yep. So we're going to come over. So we have a 50 by 10 implant. My drill's at 45, right? Yeah, okay, good. 
All right. So. Let's reverse. Okay. I'll take care of that now. Thank you for telling me that, because you know Paul would not uh, be in the right position for that. So there's our five, but ten millimeter Z systems two piece implant. Okay. So let's go with our Minnesota retractor again. Okay, Matt, let's open for me. Perfect. Me now. Great. No, it's fine. So the implant is succeeding. Suction for me. Good. All right, so implant seating. You're doing good, Matt. Mm -hmm. Implant seating. Yep. No. Perfect. So we're at 45 newton centimeters. Okay. And the. Sorry about that. I put this here. Put this over here, wrong place. Okay. And I'll take the mirror one more time. Our implant collar is ideal position. Now, what we can do here is. I'm going to. But we'll take a look here first. All right. There's our implant positioning. Okay. From, from the facial. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, once again, this can be prepped at any point in time. I mean, I can come back in here and all do. Can easily prep it to level of the bone. I'm going to get a great soft tissue seal. This can be prepped on so my margin can be at the tissue level. Okay, we're at 10 millimeters. So that's a really good situation. So, what we're going to do now is Enos give me a little cap, a little healing cap, the short one, please. Can you bite down, Matt? Yeah. We got great torque on the implant. So, this implant also at 45 newton centimeters, I could. It could go more. We could, could have a temporary put on. You could put a provisional restoration if you wanted to. You could put your final abutment in. If you have a CEREC, you could go ahead and make a final crown today with this kind of torque. So here's our little healing cap we're going to put in over the site of the implant. Okay, you can take out. Gloss, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're just going to. Now, what we're going to do is one more thing. Okay, so your implants. Everything's done. I'm just going to do a little graft to the outside to build the plump up, okay? But you're doing great. Implants all done. You did it with the mallet. Okay, and we have a. Let's go back. Some more cap. So, what I'm going to use is some Osseo Live materials. This is a. Synthetic graft material that stimulates bone formation. I, I had really, really, really good success rates with it. Generally, we're going to use some APRF, but for this particular site here, we're going to. This suffices enough. For what I'm going to do. So we're just sorry. Get our graft constituted. And we're not going to put a lot. Just up there. Membrane, this graft is going to go right into that buckle, buckle area. You know, I'll use the seating. Yeah, I'll use both. I'll go with that and then the other thing. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right. Oh, this is that little pouch that we made before. Now, this is purely cosmetic. We've got bone on the facial of the implant. So I'm doing this just to get rid of some of the dimple that we have here on the facial aspect of the implant, okay? So what I'm going to do is carry some of the material here first. And then I'm going to take my elevator that I designed, the Petron Gear elevators. There's a small and a large one. You'll be able to get those from ProMed very, very shortly. And... We're going in with the osteolite material from Curison, once again, to plump up that facial aspect. 
and there's no membranes going to go in here. You put a membrane if you want. But I did in my paper I published in May, my 15-year, 5,000-site study, I categorized four different types of defects, how to address them, when to graft them, when not to graft them, when to use a membrane or not. I have a pretty good flow chart. But for me, from this standpoint, there's no reason to put a membrane in here. This is going to remodel into a little bit of bone and then connective tissue, which is what we want on the facial. Suction, please. Oh, yes, yes. I got so with the mirror one more time for me. Yeah. Yes, uh, we have. Yes, thank you, Blake, for reminding me. I get so tied up in what I'm doing in here. I'm not really thinking about the rest of that stuff. But um, yes, if you follow us at Implant Live on Instagram or on Facebook, if you join the Zirconia Implant Society or Zygomatic Implant Forum. And there's a buckle pump. No stitches, no nothing. That'll form a clot within 10 minutes. And there's no reason to really go back anymore. Let me give Matt a little rinse. And we can take one more look at this stuff. And I'll finish it. There we go. Great. Uh, I, you know, move things. So let me finish that up. So please um, follow us at Implant Live on Instagram, or Zirconia Implant Society, Zygomatic Implant Forum on Facebook. We have a live Zygoma surgical meeting, training. Our August course uh, at this point is, we have one more seat left out of four. In October, we're bringing eight doctors down to Mexico City. Go ahead, Matt, put it down for me, thanks. We're bringing eight doctors out of Mexico City. That's, you can find that information out on uh, Zirconia Implants, I'm sorry, Zygomatic Implant Forum. We're having also our symposium, Zirconia Implant Society, a symposium in October 25th and 26th in Chicago, Illinois. Live, Zygoma, uh, live, Z Zygoma, bleh, live Zirconia Implant Surgery. It would be multiple teeth. Oh, I'm sorry. The the uh, the symposium uh, will be doing. Uh, I'll do a live surgery in the morning, restoration. There'll be workshops in the afternoon, and then we're going to have five to six speakers on Saturday. Uh, it is going to be a, a phenomenal meeting. To be clinicians for clinicians. This is not commercialized. This is learning implant education the way it should be trained. At its best okay so i hope you guys all follow along uh check out z systems if you haven't already phenomenal product i've used two different systems this is where i've settled in i do a lot of provisionalization so the one piece but the two piece is still a wonderful product that i use in situations like this and uh, please sign up an implant comparer to be able to see whatever different surgeries online on a routine basis and uh, we're going to be doing a lot more live surgical procedures right out of here on a, like on a daily basis. Also, we're going to have a question and answer series once a week, uh, probably Wednesday afternoons, because we're getting a lot of people sending in questions and wanting to talk. So we're going to have like an open forum online where I'll be answering whatever questions that I can. Obviously, the Don's got to keep some secrets, but we're here to help. So thanks, everybody. Take care. We'll sit back up. Just keep putting on the glass. Okay, perfect.